Welcome back to the corner. Yes, indeed, it's me again, your boy, Herschel J. Grandin Jr., AKA Herschel Jr., The Voice. If you're like me and been doing the husband and father thing for a while, you know how easy it is to get used to the good life. You know, the good life. Especially if you got a good wife who can cook and an appreciation for good beer. But the good life often leads to a not so good body. You know what I'm talking about. Love handles, spare tire, man boobs, back titties. Can we say titties? Oh, well, I just did. Seriously though, the real topic we're addressing today is all the health problems that come with improper diet and extra weight. 44% of black men are considered overweight, including yours truly. 24% are considered obese. In comparison to white men of the same age, 40% of black men die prematurely from cardiovascular disease, and we have a higher incidence of diabetes and prostate cancer, all because of extra weight. But with work and family and everything else, who has time to exercise? Well, my next guest is gonna remind us of what we need to do to make time for what we think is important, our health. That's why I got this little sweat rag on. You'll see why in a minute. And this is where I normally say, stop what you're doing and meet me on the corner. But today, the corner is actually gonna be somewhere else. Check it out. All right, y'all, welcome back. Okay, we're on location today at One Soul Fit Fitness in Douglasville, Georgia, and with my man, Chad Burr. How you doing, sir? I'm good, how you doing? Good, doing very well. Thank you so much for hosting us today and letting us come and invade your space for a little while. So we're gonna talk about fitness today. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna get to know you a little bit better. Y'all see I got my Erica Badu head rag on because I may be sweating here in a minute. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna get to know this gentleman first before he starts to torture me. So let, let's see how far we can get before that happens. So I want to first find out a little bit about like your history. You are like myself, you're an army veteran, and, you know, and uh, we come from a world where exercise is not an option. Yeah. And we really speak for like the Air Force and Navy, but definitely yeah. Army and, and Marine Corps. You know, all work out. Yeah, you know, 445, we're gonna do some yeah. PT until the first sergeant get tired. Yes, sir. <laughs> so a lot of times when people get out of the military, since they don't have to anymore, you know, they don't do it. They don't do it. So so what um what got you into fitness and, and had you continued to to make it a lifestyle? Um, really, uh, it was one of the things where I, I always liked working out. I always liked training people, uh, helping people get in shape. So, uh, you know, I have a cousin that's down in my uh, I Can Fitness, and uh, he's, uh, he's been doing this since 2009. So, whenever I'm going to leave or something like that, you know, I'll go home, which is Miami's where I'm from, mm -hmm. go home, you know, do a few classes with him, work out with him, and stuff like that. And then I saw how the business was growing. So I just kind of, you know, took some time and I thought about it, like, you know, at some point I might want to do this when I get out of the military. So, um, you know, fast forward to uh, 2016, I um, was thinking about what I wanted to do next. And I said, hey, you know, let me see if I can start training a few people and see how it's going. So I initially started training about four or five people in my subdivision clubhouse. After we got to a point where, you know, I, I felt like I was going to grow a little bit more and wasn't going to be able to use that facility anymore, that's when I decided to get this facility. Okay. And then from there, everything just took off, man. You know, once I started letting people know that I was here, what we were about, the things that we offered, you know, everything started to pick up. And um, from there, I really got deep into it. I started looking at more how fitness should be applied to not just, you know, just for someone trying to get in shape for a short period of time, right. to your lifestyle. Okay. So I started to get, you know, a little more education about it. Okay, so the light went off and you realized, you know, I can actually help people. Yeah, yeah. And I can make this into a career. Now, you know, anybody could, because I had a guy, my wife and I were going to the movies the other night, this guy walked up, handed me some generic card, said, hey, I'm a, I'm a personal fitness right, trainer, right. give me a call, you have a belly bigger than mine. So, <laughs> so you know, anybody can say you're a personal trainer, yeah, so yeah. I'm sure you got some certification behind yeah. you to let everybody know you're legitimate. What kind yes, of training yes. did you go through? Okay, so I'm certified with the American Aerobic Institute uh, International, mm -hmm. and um, I'm also certified with International Sports Medicine. Okay. And um, my certifi certifications include, obviously, personal training, master training, uh, sports nutrition, and uh, the, the, it's aerobic, step aerobic, but it's, that's something I don't do. That's something I just chose to have right. in my bag. Just, just to have, you know, yeah. another, another resume yeah. bullet. Nothing yeah, just take. something. It was offered. It, was, it, fell, it fell in line with the courses that I was taking, so I decided to just go ahead and do it. Okay, that sounds good. So, you know, you got to, 
make sure you know what you're doing. So I oh, guess yeah. they kind of like took you through the ringer so you can know oh, exactly yeah. what you're doing to yeah, people. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> kind of like, kind of like, yeah. like drill sergeants. Yeah, like and they, you know, actually one of my certifications came from the Army, a uh, Master okay. Fitness, so yeah. All right, it makes sense. Okay, now of course, of course everybody says that diet is a big part of mm -hmm. getting fit. Um, but the other day you told me in a quote, but I ain't about to stop eating nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but obviously you're still very fit and, yeah. and you eat what you want to eat. So how, how does one go about still eating what they like and staying healthy? Well, I mean, the, 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 the number one thing is moderation. You got to do it all in moderation. You can't go overboard. And, um, you know, for uh, middle age adults, you really have to be careful because of the way the body is starting to tr change and everything. But um, for myself, the reason why I said that is <laughs> you know, during the week, man, I stick to a fairly uh, strict diet. And when I say strict diet, it's not where I'm just eating, you know, carrots and lettuce and all that stuff. You know, I, I have solid meals that's portioned correctly. Mm -hmm. And I eat those throughout the week. You know, Sunday, Sunday to Friday, or Monday to Saturday, it just depends on how, how, how it falls. But for about five to six days a week, I'm going to eat a fairly strict meal. And then on the weekend, that's when I just, you know, go at it a little bit. You know, like I say, I might, uh, you know, see some fried chicken somewhere else, <laughs> wings and fries or something like that, man. And then I just, you know. Lemon pepper whip. You got to have it, baby. I'm telling you, with the fries, I might, you know, I might not do it like I used to do. I used to, you know, do 20 wings at right. a time. You know, now I just do 10 right, okay. and some fries and then that may be it. You know, that may be it for the day. You know, I may not do nothing else crazy. Yeah, so it's all about just having a little bit yeah, of shit. Yeah, man, you just got, you got to because it, it, it also uh, helps with a little bit of sanity, man. You know, sometimes when you're on these diets, if you're on them and you're, you're sticking to them and you're not really into the food that you're eating, it's easy to fall off. It's right. easy to just start, you know, saying, well, I, I don't want to try this. I don't want to eat this. I'm going to try this, you know. Mm -hmm. And then you start trying a little bit more. And before you know it, you know, I got totally away from your diet. You're doing something you shouldn't be doing. Right, exactly. Because I remember um, one time uh, we went on vacation. I think we went to the Bahamas or something like uh -huh. that. And, and I was like, well, we're on vacation. Go ahead and eat it. We're on vacation. And before we realized we've been back like three weeks, like, well, mm -hmm. why we keep saying we're still on vacation? We ain't on vacation. No <laughs> we still eat like we're on vacation. You know, yeah. it's like, like you said, it's easy to slip right back yeah, into it. it. it Those is. bad habits. Yeah, so um, we're going to move on a little bit. Um, now, when you come across an individual and you mm -hmm. want to like come up with a plan for them, what goes into creating a plan? What factors do you take into consideration? Okay, well, the first thing, the first factor is the frequency that they, they've been working out. You know, they had not been working out or they've just been working out just a little bit. That's the first thing I want to know. I want to know what you've been doing so that as we put together this plan, I'll know the things that you should be doing at that point in time or the things you probably can go ahead and start doing right. that, you know, maybe that's not on a beginner's level, you know, we take it more to an intermediate level. Mm -hmm. um, then the next thing is, you know, obviously the age and any medical issues or something you may have like that. But um, in, most, in most cases, it's, it's going to be those things right there and then from there we'll start to just tailor the workout and you know the meals and stuff like that. Right, because of course it could be tweaked later mm -hmm. on as yeah. people yeah. get stronger or exactly. it could be you know, exactly. any other factors, any new health problems arise. I mean you can right. tailor it that kind of way. That makes a whole lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Now um, what do you say to the busy mom or dad you know, who says that I don't have time to exercise? Because that's, you know, that, that's my biggest excuse. Yeah. I mean I, I do have a full time job. You know, this show hadn't taken off yet, you know, so I can't do it full time yet. But I mean, so I mean, people who their whole day is taken up. I mean, what do you say to them when they say I don't well, have time to exercise? The, the the thing is, you have if you don't plan on anything you do, you're not going to be successful. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you have to do for the busy mom, busy dad, is you have to take a step back and say, okay, let me see. My day starts here and it ends here. Where are my breaks at, and so on and so forth. And then if you don't have the luxury of having a 45 minute to an hour break where you can actually get a workout in and then get back to work, now you got to figure out how you're going to incorporate certain things throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Whether, you know, if you're working at a job where you're sitting at a desk, you might not need to be sitting at that desk all day. You mm -hmm. might need to get up, stand up, you know, do, do whatever you can from a standing position. Right. And then if you can move around a little bit, walk around a little bit, then you do that. But in terms of trying to get a daily regimen in, it may not happen, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, the more you're act, the more active you are, the better it will be for you. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you can turn around and 
try to throw in a workout on a Saturday or a Sunday. Because something's better than nothing. Yeah, exactly. You have to do something. Yeah, because you know? we have more time than we think we do. Yeah, we I mean, really do. Because there are often times you are like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm so busy, so busy, and, and look up, oh, I've been on Facebook for, for five exactly. minutes. Let me, let me exactly. Let me stop scrolling. Exactly. So we have more time than we think we do. You know, I, I, I've talked to uh, quite a few, uh, you know, people that works in certain uh, buildings and stuff. Stuff like that. But what, what they typically would do is, you know, sit at their, at their desk for that period of time, or you know, they'll 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 you know maybe be in the office for that period of time. Well, what you should probably do is get up every hour on the hour, mm -hmm. go for a walk outside. Right. You know, mm -hmm. go for a walk outside, go for a walk around your building or something like that, or in your building, just to get your heart rate up and, and, and start moving around. So that's that's one thing that they can do. Yeah, yeah, we're going to talk more about that in a few mm -hmm. moments. First, we're going to fire the crew member whose phone went off, and then we'll move on from there to exercise. <laughs> no, just playing around. But uh, seriously, we're going to take a break for a moment, and um, when we come back, whew, Lord, uh, we're going to see you know, what he can do with these old bones. Yeah. Hopefully he don't kill me too much. Y'all stay with us. We'll be right back. It takes less than one minute to find out if you may have prediabetes, and you can do it here. So what are you waiting for? Just go to the site. All right, so we're back with Chad Bird of One So Fit Fitness, but um, I think we need a little help with this this little workout. I don't need all the motivation I can get, so I think we got a special guest. Yeah, so in preparation uh, with the workout, I brought my fiance Rochelle. She's the first lady of One So Fit, okay. and what we're gonna do is after we go through the workout, she's gonna demonstrate some of the exercises for you. Okay, so basically you're gonna let a girl make me look bad, I guess. Uh, uh, that's all right. Okay. I don't mind. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let you take it and you just kind of like instruct us on what we're gonna do. So typically, basically, what we have right here, we just have just dumbbells. This is this is a workout that you know you can do at home, men and women. Um, all you need is a set of dumbbells. You know, they, they don't have to be too heavy. You don't want them too light. But it's just something to help you start with the, the resistance training, doing, try, try to build a little bit of muscle, get your body back used to working out. All okay. right, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is the push-ups. Everybody know push-ups, huh? I mean, for guys that hadn't done push-ups in a while, if you gotta go down to your knees, that's okay. <laughs> but okay. preferably you wanna start up on your, on, on your hands and your toes first, and then as you start to weaken, you go down to your knees and continue to knock those push-ups out. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start out with 12 push-ups. Just 12. Okay. All right. Front and lean rest position. <laughs> <laughs> so I count them out for y'all. Okay. Done. Ready? Set. Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. <laughs> up. Cool. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. <laughs> up. Five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, down, up, nine, down, up, ten, down, up, eleven, down, up, twelve. All right, for your feet. So you sit that out. You got that old military coming back. So like, Woo, bad news. <laughs> you want to shake that out. Now, one thing I didn't say before is in, in, anytime you're doing a workout, you always want, especially, especially, you know, where we are at our age, middle age, man, you always want to start off with some type of warm up. Okay. Three to five minutes, you know, some jumping jacks, running in place. If you have the luxury of, you know, maybe going outside, running a quick lap around the block, yeah. or up and down, up and down the block, just to get your body warmed up, okay. and then you come back home. Because like we said, this is this is more so for that busy mom, busy dad, you don't have that much time, so you want to figure out a way to get the most out of your workout in the least amount of time. Because the muscles aren't flexible enough, yeah. you know, and you're going to you, break if, something. So. Yeah, because I'm going to tell you, I, I, if you just jump into this particular workout and you're not warmed up, you know, you'll feel it the next day more than you should. I feel it now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the next exercise is going to be dumbbell rolls. You just okay. grab both of your dumbbells. So what we do, you're going to start out, feet shoulder width apart, right up on your shoulders, okay. down here, waist right in front of you, back flat, you want to keep that back flat. This okay. is when you, when you round out your back, mm -hmm. this is when you're going to start with your back pain. So okay. you flatten your back out, okay. you want to bend a little bit more, a little bit more, okay. alright, and you're just going to start rolling. 
One, two, one. Just like that. There you go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. Put it down, check it out. Just a simple little, simple, just simple little rose. Nothing major. She doesn't bother. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing major. You know, it's just one of the things where you know, just trying to get the get the body back that, that used to being getting into a workout regimen, and then you'll start to progress on something a little more uh, intermediate, and from there a little more advanced. Okay. So your next exercise, good old sit-ups. Okay. <laughs> sit-ups. Now, one thing which you gotta understand about the sit-ups, if you're one of those that have a weak core and you really need someone to hold your feet, but you don't have someone to hold your feet. What you want to do is lay back, put your feet out a little further. Okay. The further you have your feet up closer to you, the harder it's going to be. Okay. The further you have your feet away from you, the easier it's going to be. So what you have your feet out a little further, it allow you to come up a little easier. Okay. okay. So we're going we're gonna to start our sit-ups. It don't count till you come back down. So yeah. come up, go back down, that'll be one. All right, here we go. Up, back down. One, up, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. On your feet, checking it out. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> so it's just you know, just sales. I mean, and, and really, this workout again is 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 not too tough. Right. You know, and what you want to do is you want to start off. I know I said twelve, but you want to start off 10, 12, 15, work your way up to it. And then as time go on, like I said, you'll switch up some of the exercises, or maybe even switch, switch, switch up your weight. You know, try to go a little heavy on your weight. And this is stuff you can do at home. Mm -hmm. yeah, this, is everything, everything, this is all you need. Just mm -hmm. a, a set of dumbbells. Mm -hmm. you, you can even do a lighter set for certain exercises. You can do a heavier set for certain exercises. But it depends on the individual strength. Okay. okay. So the next exercise is going to be basic dumbbell curls, alternate. So now. Oh my God. So what's going to happen? <laughs> so what's going to happen is the number is 12. But since we're doing alternate, you are going to count to 24. All right. So you start with ah, double your fun. Just like the military, what we what we always start with in the military. On the left. Oh, that's right. Start with the left. All right. Here we go. That's Set. Like feet or like, you know, you can have your feet together. Or you, it, the thing, the, the, thing about, the thing about I try to give people, anytime you're doing something standing, if you can do it with your feet closer, go ahead, because what that does is that it causes you to engage your core. Right. Because you've got to think about it. You have more balance when you're like this. Mm -hmm. You have left, less balance when you're in. So now you have to in, engage your core right. to stabilize yourself. Balance. So if you, if you have to start out like this, go ahead. And then as you get stronger, you bring your feet in and you start bring your feet in closer, and then you inject, engage that core more. And you work that core while you're working, while you're doing your workout. Okay. All right, here we go. Start with the left arm. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we're there. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. How'd that feel? That feels good. Not bad. I'm not going to lie to you. Not bad. All right. So now, this next exercise, the final exercise, is a squat and press. Okay. I'm, I'm going to show you how to do this one so you don't have to use your little energy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in the fight now. I, I don't want you to have to use too much. I ain't heard no fat lady. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you want to do, you're going to bring up the dumbbells right here. Okay. This is going to be a little difficult, so if you, if you can't go all the way down, I understand. The, the easiest way to, to balance these dumbbells, put them right here. Okay. Rest them right here in the front. That way you got your elbows up under you, part of the way is on your shoulder a little bit. You go all the way down, squat, bring it back up, press it up. Bring it back here, 
down, back up, press it up, press it like this. All right? Now, I'm not going to mention the fact that I got the bigger weights, but. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big guy. <laughs> In theory, all right. right? All right, so all we're doing is 12. Here we go. Feet width, shoulder. Now, with this exercise, you definitely want to have your feet shoulder width apart. So you're going to squat. All right? Here we go. Set, go. Down, up, press it up. One. Down, up, press it up. Two. Keep it going. Three. Four. Five, get a little deep on that squat. Six, <laughs> come on. Seven. Eight, come on. Up, nine, press them up, back down, back up, press them up. Ten, press them up. Eleven, and twelve. All right. Try <laughs> down! <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, you know, this, this, is, this is that at-home workout that you can do. Like I said, um, we will have, all you need is a light pair of light dumbbells. You can have a set of heavy ones, set of, set of, set of light, set of heavy. It doesn't matter either mm -hmm. or. And um, what, I have, what you want to do is you want to do this, this whole set about five times. Mm -hmm. Between each exercise, 30 to 45 seconds, no more. And then once you've done the full five exercises, Rest for about two minutes, then you go right back into it again. And again, like I said, you want to do all that five times. Five exercises, five times. And you do this, you know, twice, maybe three times a week. Then you combine that with a little bit of exercise outside, walking, a little jogging. It'll get you back in shape fairly quick. And then most of all, eat. You got to make sure your eating is under control. Okay, so I thank you for that long instruction, give me time to catch my breath a little bit. So, uh, one of the things you have to contend with um, when you are coming up with a plan for something mm -hmm. um, is any pre existing health conditions. Right, and, right, right. And I'll just, full disclosure, since we're family, I um, you know, was recently diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Uh -huh. So, um, with, with diseases and, and pre existing conditions like that, how do you tailor plans for people yeah. with those types of things? Well, well, in, in terms of with uh, fibromyalgia, you know, it, it's it's a uh, disorder that causes pain and tenderness throughout the body. So when you're when you have something like that, and then you try to turn turn that turn around and add weight training or any type of resistance training with that, you already know with the weights and the resistance training, you're gonna have some soreness. Your body gonna be you know a little few aches and stuff like that. Right. So if you have anything like that, you don't want to go right into lifting. You want to start off with some cardiovascular. You still will be working the muscles, but you won't work them as hard as you would with the resistance training. So something like cycling, jogging, walking, those are the things that you will want to do first and start that, start a regimen of doing that and that. Most of all, listen to your body. If you're in pain or you, you know, you're sore a lot more than you normally would, to scale it back a little bit because the thing what people don't know is when you have these uh, conditions, exercise does help. It's just the way you go about doing it. So you still have to find ways to get that exercise in. So if you start a regimen and you start having the aches and the pains and the soreness, just scale it back a little bit, continue doing it, and then as your body builds up to it, then you just keep going. Yeah, it's like kind of like we said earlier, something's better than nothing. Always, right. always. Yeah, now, I mean, we talked about how you can do this type of thing at home mm -hmm. for free, but you are running a business. I am. So, I mean, of course, you know, you, we're not going to, we're going to try to, you know, help people know that there are people out there who can help them, oh, yeah. people like yourself now. So, if people wanted to get in touch with you and, and, and partake of the services that you guys provide. Uh -huh. Still trying to catch my breath, sorry. <laughs> how would they get in touch with you guys and well, how would they go about um, coming up, you know, coming, make contact with you to to get Okay. Alright, so if you want to get in touch with me, uh, again, I'm, I'm Chad Bird, One So Fit Fitness Master Trainer. We have Rochelle, she's a One So Fit Master Trainer as well. We both can be reached on One So Fit Fitness on uh, Facebook as well as um, you can follow us on our website at www.onesofit.com. Also, if you would like to reach us on Instagram, you can contact me on Instagram at he is one so fit and Rochelle underscore admin. All right. All right. Well, we want to thank y'all. I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go soak in some Epsom salt. <laughs> get my wife to rub my back for me. <laughs> but uh, this is I can actually feel like this is something I could really incorporate and you know give myself. 
get myself back to where I used to be. I just want to thank so much. It's a pleasure meeting you all. And it's just been very helpful. And once again, this has been The Corner. And I'm going to go in the corner and, and die. No, I'm not going to die. <laughs> but thanks so much for being with us today. We'll see you next time.